What is up everybody, it's your boy Wano and today I want to go over some of the new body cam updates that uh, recently released. So kind of like three days ago-ish, they released an update that's seven gigabytes in size and uh, they changed quite a lot. I didn't expect them to change this much with that size of like an update, considering if you're looking at games like Call of Duty. For example, that's like a 30, 40 gigabyte update every other day where this is like a hyper realistic game, which yes, they do not have like that many things in the game as a game like Call of Duty or like a more established title. But nonetheless, jumping into the actual update, the summary of this update is body cam update version 0.1.2.8 introduces two new maps, public pool and the pit, along with new game modes, a 1v1 duel and team deathmatch, and then the update also features reworks of existing maps, including balancing adjustments and improved gameplay elements, alongside enhanced UI and various fixes for smoother experiences. So let's go actually through what the actual stuff is that they updated in the game. Now, first of all, they added a new map in the game, which is called the pool and their description of the map is fight through a derelict public pool complex offering close quarters combat and open areas for intense gunfights so i want to try that one out as soon as the update actually finished i would love to see how that actually looks like then we have a new map called the pit the pit is an arena style map designed for intense 1v1 duels with randomized layouts for each match only available in the new the pit mode now right after that that actually tells what the pit mode is so the pit mode is a 1v1 deal with the map changing each round perfect game mode to face your friends and find out who is the strongest and then we have a new game mode called team deathmatch now for those of you who have played the game before you might have noticed that there's already a game mode called team deathmatch now they kind of changed that team deathmatch is now called versus and then the new team deathmatch is like a 1v1 thing as far as I could understand, I think. I, confusing, I know, but let's just hear them out. We got a new game mode name switch. The previous team deathmatch is now called Versus to make room for the new traditional team deathmatch mode. Then we have team selection system improved. The team selection now takes place at the start of the game and cannot be changed in game for better balancing. That's pretty cool because I've seen in multiple scenarios where you start the game with like 5v5 or 4v4 or whatever and then all of a sudden it's like 3v6 because everybody keeps changing teams to the team that's winning or whatever the case may be with that anyway moving on we got contributors graffiti added all the contributors graffiti have been added to the training map and some will even appear in future maps or in reworks of old maps that's exciting that what, what an exciting way to to bring the whole community with you along this journey. Now here's the changes to the actual maps. Russian building has been modified and improved, added new paths and made balancing adjustments. I would like to see what that actually is and if you can like notice anything crazily different. And then with abandoned hospital, they modified and improved various collision fixes for smoother gameplay. So they kind of just made the gameplay a little bit smoother. I don't think you're actually gonna notice any of that but uh, let's move on and then on warren house they modified and improved by adding new paths new visuals and made balancing adjustments which i i'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to see the difference there and then with the player spawn system they kind of made it more flexible and with certain game modes you can kind of like spawn next to each other whereas you wouldn't be able to do that normally. So that's kind of cool. Then with the UI, they improved the scoreboard by enhancing visuals and adding player ranks next to their names, which is kind of cool. Like I was kind of waiting for them to like bring the whole ranks thing a little bit more into the game because the only time you ever see a rank is when you have finished with the match and it doesn't have any like real crazy significance, right? Then with the settings, they improved the visuals so you can now change your lobby settings in the setting menu. Fair enough. And then with the map and game mode selection, you can now select the mode first and then the maps available for that mode. Unique and mode specific maps are labeled accordingly. We've also added labels like new, updated and patch and more to keep you informed on each mode and maps status. 
Okay, so a little bit more transparency, which I think is kind of like the whole theme of Ryzen Studio is to be like as transparent as you possibly can as a game studio, right? Okay, moving on to the player changes. The player's skin reacts to the dynamic weather. Depending on the weather, your clothing accessories will now react to it, making characters even more realistic. So I'm guessing when there's like rain, you're going to be wet and it's probably going to be dripping and stuff like that. So I, I would like to see how that actually interacts with the game and changes stuff inside of the game, right? And then we have player reacts to flashbangs and scream. Oh, I've been waiting for this one. Now you can tell if your enemies are under the effect of your flashbang by hearing them scream. Be careful, as the effect may vary depending on how the enemies receive the flash. So if you flash like behind somebody, they might not be screaming that loudly, but if you flash like in front of somebody or like in the, in the close vicinity of somebody, then I think you're gonna like hear people scream because it's in real life a flashbang is intense like that thing is it's deafening <laughs> crazy aiming sensitivity and balancing FPS dependent adjustments of aiming sensitivity and motion balancing for players with high or low FPS camera movements will now remain consistent that's something interesting that I haven't seen a lot of other games do. So depending on if you have high or low FPS, the game's camera movement will now adjust accordingly so it looks the same to everybody. That's kind of cool. I like that. I want to see how that actually practically works inside of the game. And then with the camera, they improved the camera movement and effects, including reworked leaning mechanics. Okay. And no mind if I do. That's actually pretty nice. I did feel like the leaning was kind of like a little bit like, I don't want to say stuttery, but it felt a little bit stiff, right? It should be better now. And then right or left sprinting. They added right and left sprinting options for enhanced mobility. I, I don't know exactly what that means. I would like to see what that actually is. Now with the fixes, they improved the dead body performance optimization. So they reduced the performance impact caused by everybody that's just laying on the ground. Because as you know, you do get, you know, gunned down pretty easily in this game. And then the gun game weapon swap fix. They addressed weapon swap issues in the gun game mode. They fixed issues with bunny hopping. They resolved animation issues when mantling. What's mantling? Okay. And then they fixed problems with the dropping items from the inventory. I didn't know you can do that. Do you have an inventory in this game? Oh, do you mean like dropping your weapons maybe? Something to think about. And then the R points or the rank point system reworked, improved the rank points attribution for better progression tracking. Awesome. And then with the beta, they just added some support for the following languages, French, Chinese, Russian, and Dutch. Wow, what an update guys. I can't wait to see how this practically looks and how the game is. So if you want to like actually see me go into all of that, you can just let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you want to see more like this video and subscribe to the channel, you know what to do. Peace out, guys.